What's going on, you fuckheads? This is Eric Johnson. I am with RBM and Double L, who will come back at some point, hopefully, in this recording. Maybe, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, we're with uh, we're with uh, Double Fuckhead, and this is ECW '97. Yeah. So, we're gonna start off with the pre-show. It's pretty uh, basic, you know. Mikey Whipwreck goes over the whip- whippersnapper in ten minutes three seconds. I mean, yep. look at that. On the dot, bro, okay? We told them 8 to 10. They go 10 3 on the dot. Like, that's what I'm talking about, bro. That's what you're looking for in a wrestler right there, okay? When you give them that time of how long their match should be, they're almost on the dot just like that. You know, you, 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 know, you, you know you hired some good talent. Anyway, got uh, the 39. That was totally not a knock on anybody. That I know personally. All right, 39. Let's go. And we got Chris Candido and Tommy Dreamer. That was a 62 match. Uh, looks like Tommy Dreamer and Biola McGillicuddy have great chemistry all of a sudden. Oh, and Chris Candido is going through personal issues. What the hell is it now? Uh, I think is Shawn Michaels still fucking his wife or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Sonny. Chris Candido and Sonny, yeah, I don't blame him. Okay, well. Man, that, man, that was rough. Sean would openly admit, hey, your wife's pretty good. That's fucked. I know, I remember Kevin Nash, was like, what, like, he was playing a story, like, he was, like, watching the door for Chris Candido. It's like, he was banging Sonny in, like, a bathroom. It was fucked. Then we got Ricky Morton and Shane Douglas in the main event of the pre-show. Uh, this will be his second defense of the TV title. Uh, I actually got a 56. It's not so bad. And then the injury sh- slowed Ricky Morton down. By the way, we had plenty of other people to put him besides Ricky Morton, but Double L, he just has a hate boner for people who are injured, apparently. How dare you get injured? Your your bones must be made of steel. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, he just hates old people and injured people, so it was just a it was just a perfect storm for Ricky. Yeah, Morton. I don't think he, yeah yeah he don't like old people or injured people. Oh, All right, on to the main show. Eighty-seven 80, and eighty-seven segment right off the bat. Um, so fan, Sandman, he comes, he kind of comes out. He says, "Paul Heyman, get get your fat ass down here." What the fuck was that? You screwed me out of my title. I worked so hard to get. Paul Heyman comes down. And he's like, "Look, Sam, and I didn't like that either. Look, you're you're ECW basically, but I want to grow ECW. Take it where you can't, and that's the that was the only way I could get Bret Hart to put his name on the dotted line. And that was the only way Bret Hart would sign with us because he hates ECW. And I mean, look, man, you know, he, I know, I know, I basically Paul Heyman's going to be a heel because. He, uh, I think we're going to go with what? That he uh, basically decreased everybody's salary? <laughs> Just to sign Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah. Like heavily decreased salaries and everyone's pissed. Yeah. That, that'll be a fun storyline. Actually, you know what? That's the birth of it right now. Got an 87. And then, so Bret Hart, you kind of, and know, would come out, they're like, they're like, quit your whining. You could never be the champion that I'm meant to be. And, I, and we can't wait to kick your ass. Then Terry Funk comes out and he does mix between Terry Funk and Stone Cold Impression right now. That's your cue, Eric. You listen here now, you son of a bitch. I'm going to drink my beer here with Sandman. And we're going to go two on two with you Canadian freaks. What? And that's the bottom line. Because Terry Funk said so. Drink a beer. What? Nah, we're not in 2000, 2001 yet. This is 97, so we're just getting the badass Terry Funk right now. But, anyway, 87. Move, moving on. That was a pretty good good segment to start. In a 66 match, dude. Oh, my God. Look at Taz with 73. Taz carrying. He wins with a Taz plex. He doesn't even submit him. Goddamn. He just, he just dropped them on his head. Uh-huh. And then we have the brawl between Taz and Sabu. They got a 67. 
Yeah, after the match, it just it just picks off right where it left off from presumably last night. Yep. Or last week. Whatever it is. You whatever it is. Uh, we got Joey Styles with a new Jack and the stuff of Saeed. Uh, and they basically say, yeah, we kicked the Illuminators' ass. We took their titles. What are you going to do about it? Yep. What you going to do about it, sucker? Got a 54. What's... Double L's taking a minute to get back. Uh-oh. We're about uh-uh. like halfway through the show. And we got Bubba Ray Dudley and Devon Dudley meeting again. This time, Devon Dudley wins at a Dudley death drop. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know how Dudley it's going to get, but it's getting pretty Dudley. And it's 52. That's the segment rating. Yeah. In the right. Dudley dilemma. Those damn Dudleys. Got a 52. Then Bubba, Bubba Ray makes a challenge for the next week's uh, ECW Hardcore TV that if D Vaughn loses, he must come back to the family because Bubba Ray Dudley's sick and tired of the drama. Family He says, I just, I just want my brother back. But if you win... The Dudleys are over forever. You can stay out of the family. Huh? We don't give a shit. We got 51. Then we got the Hardy Boys versus Edge and Christian versus the Blue Meanie. This match go to 38, but in a poor match, Hardy Boys defeat Edge and Christian in the Blue Meanie and Stevie Richards. That was really hard to say. The order of elimination was Edge and Christian first, then they eliminated Blue Media and Stevie Richards. I don't know why it was elimination. It shouldn't have been. But, yeah. Let's look at the rating. So, Jeff Hardy had a 45. Matt Hardy had a 36. So, actually, Edge and Christian was the worst, or the worst or two. But, Stevie Richards and Blue Media are just right around Jeff and Matt Hardy. So, Well, Blue Me. well, let's see. Who is it? Yeah, Blue Meanie is below, so... Blue Meanie actually had the worst performance. <laughs> it's funny. Who would have thought a fat out of shape dude had a worse performance than five other athletic dudes? Oh, yeah, and match, Jeff Hardy took a... This match bump. actually got the crowd buzzing. Yeah, because probably Jeff Hardy tried to kill himself. Is he a heel? Did I make him a heel? Uh, he would do something like that. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And we got the uh, Hart Dynasty or Hart Brothers, so we don't get sued. Versus Terry Funk and the Sandman. And Owen Hart is injured. Yay. Patellar tendonitis, so his knee, his knee is inflamed. That's what that means. Got a 59. The match went on too long, given its aim, and the match was too long, given our audience. So, yay. Of course. Brett Hart and Owen Hart had a tag team specialist bonus. Bret Hart's getting better at his gimmick, which is great. And then, oh, wait, because Raven cost Sam and the match. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. The Sam, yeah, the Sandman following interference from Raven. Owen Hart pinned the Sandman. Uh, yep. Okay. And Sandman was actually the weakest link in the match, but he didn't do that bad. That's funny. And then, what did Raven do to distract him? Making out with Lori Fullington. His wife, my God, the son of a bitch. Raven's a fucking scumbag. And we got a 64. Show didn't result in any popularity changes. I wonder why. Okay. Well, you explained it last time, so you must have forgot. Yep. I, I remember. Oh, yeah. Sabu was, uh, it turns out, very unethical. Or not Sabu, uh, what's his name? New Jack. Really? He's unethical? I would have never guessed. Alright, so that'll do it for this episode. 
That's right. Wow, 10 minutes. I think it's the shortest one yet. And we'll see you next time. Yep.